So while Russia wages war in Ukraine, its president, Vladimir Putin, is visiting China's northeastern city of Harbin on the second and last day of his trip to the country. Putin attended a trade expo in the city, which is near the Russian border, and has historical ties to the country. Putin's stop there is meant to underscore the economic cooperation between the two nations. Earlier, Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping reaffirmed their no-limits partnership amid growing tensions with the West. For more on this, let's bring in China expert Josie Marie Per Kuhn from Trier University here in Germany. Welcome. Russia and China already had a no-limits partnership. Now they're talking of a new era in ties. How do you interpret that? First of all, thank you for being here. It is not a big surprise to us observers that the two autocratic regimes strengthen their ties in depth and intensity, especially now with the uh, election, uh, elections around the world coming up. The target is a rule-based international order. And with the renewed declaration, they demonstrate an alternative non-liberal view of the world, especially to other countries that might be indecisive. In particular, they deepen several areas with strategic strategic and military relevance, for example, military cooperation itself, science and technology in general, particularly in innovation technology, aviation, transport, logistics, and also to create transportation hubs around the world with dual-use facilities. I'd like to emphasize here their outstanding cooperation in the Arctic, which we should pay more attention on since it becomes a future area where they can quite uh, and undetected um, strengthen these cooperation ties. The way you describe it, it sounds like uh, this is going to be a severe challenge to the Western-led world order? Um, it is definitely strengthening their uh, cooperation, and this will be another step on challenging the rule-based order, definitely, especially when we talk about the depth and intensity beyond military uh, issues. We have seen this in the run-up before, that there is some cooperation way beyond codependency in terms of currency and also on raw materials. So, yes, that is uh, diffusing into both their societies societies and I think this is something we should um, take a look, closer look on too, yes. You know, I'd like to speak a bit more about uh, the trade relationship because Russia's trade with China has surged above 26% in the last year alone. How important is this trade relationship with China for Russia? One of the areas is um, that uh, Russia being sanctioned by most of the world partners, uh, they are in need for daily life supply, but also for military and also munitions. And we know China is supporting this. So I think there's a huge codependency coming um, um, where China delivers goods also to strengthen their own uh, economic strength across the border. And also that's why they meet also in Harbin, which is on the north part of China. Um, to strengthen these ties in the uh, civil civilian tree. Uh, for example, also China gets a lot of raw materials to industrialize along the border and, and trade. Uh, Russia become, uh, gets a lot of um, yeah, daily life support, but also ammunition. We know that from the fields. We'll uh, leave it there for the moment. But thanks so much for joining us today. China expert Josie Marie Perkun from Trier University. Thanks so much.